Hey guys, how's it going? Hammy here. A little bit of a news update. Number one, 30k subs. Thank you so much for that. I'm not going to be shouting again until we hit 50k subs and I've got something pretty special planned for as and when. Who knows, we may never hit it, but if we do eventually hit it, some special videos and other fun stuff as well. So let's see how we can get there. Thank you so much for all of the help so far. I really appreciate it. Every single like, comment and subscribe really helps me out. A little bit of news for you. If you haven't seen already on my Twitter header or maybe on the stream overlay, if you've joined the stream at twitch.tv forward slash Hammy OW, I have teamed up with Root Gaming. It's very, very exciting. Uh, basically, Root are an old school StarCraft and Blizzard gaming org. They've been esports for ages since the beginning of StarCraft 2. They've had players in Smash Brothers. If you're a Hearthstone fan, Amaza's first team was uh, Root before he decided to move on and go and do other stuff. So they're a cool bunch of people. They're getting into Overwatch. Do go check them out. I put their link to their Twitter, their website and things. I'm going to be doing some content for them and they're going to be helping promote my content and all of the stuff we do together. We might do some other cool things like tournaments and stuff as well. So that's what it is. It's pretty simple. Sadly, it's not being a pro player. Uh, you, if any of you have seen my dad's 76 reflexes, it's probably obvious why that is. As much as I'd love to be a pro, I don't think I'm quite good enough, but I can certainly have a bunch of fun playing with you guys. So that's the main thing. The other thing, it isn't just to be clear as any kind of sponsored deal or anything like that. You know, I'm not being paid, but it's cool. I'm helping them out. I'm doing some content. We're working together. Uh, they're helping me out. So it's a really cool mutual thing. I'm kind of like a content creator for Root, which is really awesome. So if you've got a couple of minutes, do check them out below. Number three, a few new things. Now, I am trying to see if I can make doing video for you and doing video and doing streams and all kinds of cool stuff a little bit of a living. I'm not going to try and be a rich man, but at the same time, if you enjoy the content and I enjoy making it, I just want to make it really clear that because I'm exploring this, you're never going to have to pay a penny for any content. All of my content is always going to be free. You can always watch streams. You can always watch the YouTube stuff. And I'm never going to put up a, you know, paid videos or anything like that, just to make it very clear. But I'm having to think about how I can uh, do a little bit of stuff around it. One thing I'm looking at is sort of getting sponsored videos and things. I don't want to sell out. I don't want to do it in a way that you feel spoils your enjoyment of the content. Uh, so just a bit of a question to you. I'm looking at saying, you know, if I have a sponsored video, maybe if I have two or three seconds at the beginning of a video saying, thanks very much to someone who's sponsored this video. And then the same at the very end. Uh, so maybe before uh, my Hammy Overwatch um, animation would play at the beginning of a video that you're used to. And then maybe during the end credits at the end or similar too. Would that spoil your enjoyment of the video? How would that feel for you? I would only do it with brands, with companies, with products that I felt A, were relevant. Things that kind of you might be interested in and would make sense. But you know, doing sponsored videos is a way that could help me uh, get better equipment, it could make me make better videos, and maybe in the long term, just maybe, it could enable me to do this full time. It's one out of a bunch of things. You know, if you want to give me a hand, you can go and sub on Twitch, there's always the donate button, but like I've said, all my content's going to be free, and I'd never expect anyone to pay for anything. Those are the things on that side of thing too. But yeah, do let me know what you think about sponsored videos, and how I could put a sponsorship in that wouldn't spoil your enjoyment of the video, but then again, you know, would kind of potentially help me out with making more and better videos for you in the future. So yeah, that's kind of question number number three, a little bit of news number three. Thing number four, to sort of tie into that finally, like I've said, I love doing this. I'd love to do more of it. And I'm looking into ways that I can do that. Um, so stay tuned soon. I'm thinking about going on Patreon. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with Patreon, uh, you'll know exactly that what that is. For those of you who aren't familiar with Patreon, it's a way of, if you enjoy someone creating content, you can support them just on a monthly basis. If you want to, you can stop anytime you want. It's very much like a Twitch sub in that way. You don't have to keep subscribed. It doesn't keep rolling over unless you want it to, you can choose it to. Um, and you can support in different levels. And depending on the level that you support, you can get certain rewards. And I'm trying to think of cool rewards. So if I set up a Patreon, what kind of rewards would you like? Equally, I've thought of some milestone goals and that could be a part of a way that I could try and do more regular content for you, higher quality content. I've got a series in my head that I'd love to make happen, uh, but I'm gonna need some more time for that. I'm just trying to think of whether or not I should start a Patreon. And if so, what kind of rewards do you think would be good? And what kinds of things would you like me to do? So I guess the question is if I try to do this full time and I try to find ways of, of making that happen, what kind of content would you like to see uh, from me if I was doing things more often? So I'm already dropping five to seven vids a week. Um, some of those are like highlights and I've had good discussions with you folks uh, coming on to my next point in terms of content plan. Had a good discussion with some of you folks in the comments as to what highlights I should share, what highlights I shouldn't share, all of those kind of things as well. But I don't want to share too many videos and you feel that the quality of the content is dropping. But at the same time, if you guys like seeing something every day, I can drop something every day, but I can't drop seven uh, voice line and interactions every day, for example. Uh, that doesn't work so well. In a good way, I want to spend loads of time on them and doing them in a good way, but equally I, I don't want to rush them out. The quality suffers and that you, you don't enjoy them as much. So yeah, I'm trying to have a think about what kind of highlights do you guys enjoy? Do you enjoy stream highlights? Some of you have said, I want to see whole streams, post all two hours of 
out how many other of you have said you know what that's too long I just want to see the best bits and some of you have said well actually I don't really like that at all you know you don't need to share this stuff I'd rather you didn't share highlights than share like three highlights videos a week do let me know about sort of highlights and how you feel about them we have cool stuff and cool ideas so at the moment I've got voice lines interactions I've got law bites which I think I can do a lot more of I'm dropping those one a week maybe those those could go up to two a week we've got quick guides which will finish at some point the same as the voice lines and interactions I've also got some other ideas and things as well of course we've got community plays of the week dropping every Sunday and that's not going to go anywhere either so do let me know how you feel about the content mix. What are you seeing? I know obviously people love their voice lines and interactions. You love the lore. The voice lines and interactions will run out when we run out of heroes, but there's plenty of time for that. I'm dropping those one a week at the moment, occasionally two. And then the other thing that I've got dropping, I've got two or three different things that are dropping on a weekly basis. So I've probably got four videos a week that I know that I'm dropping on a weekly basis. And around those, I've been dropping highlights so far. Are there any other video types you'd like to see? Please do let me know. I've got loads of ideas. I'm just trying to work out how I can do those and streaming and have a little bit of spare time as well. So there we go. Really, really cool stuff 30k subs thank you so much for that big celebration plan for when we hit 50 do please keep liking sharing and commenting away on the vids uh if you enjoy them i really really appreciate that and it really does help me so thank you you know anyone who you know who might like the vids uh, who might like joining us as well having a chat with us please do share it really helps me out so thank you for that okay that's cool a bit of a long channel ramble there but thanks so much for tuning in i really really appreciate catching you and hopefully see you soon take it easy guys